Hey folks, we'll get started in one minute. Okay, I will paste the link in and begin to share my screen. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the Aries DidCom V2 Working Group for April 10th, 2023. Uh, our last meeting before uh, the IIW week, uh, and so we'll probably be off next week. Um, I paste the link in again. Okay, so let's see. I've got Alex. Um, I have Rodolfo helping me on something, so. Let's call him in here. Okay, there's our link for today. Um, okay, I have to remind everybody of the antitrust, uh, the Hyperledger antitrust policy and the Hyperledger code of conduct. And uh, feel free to add yourself to the attendees list. Uh, is there anyone new today that would like to introduce themselves? Okay, are there any announcements uh, from our Aries working group meetings or anything else from frameworks out there? Carry stuff, anything before we jump into the IAW stuff? Okay, all right, well then let's jump in. Uh, we've seen a ton of um, of activity uh, regarding IAW, preparing for the IAW DIDCOM V2 Connectathon. Uh, again, that's uh, Wednesday, April 19th from 1.30 to 2.30 uh, after lunch during IAW. So uh, yeah, it would be great to just go through and get updates, uh, Roots ID folks. Any updates you want to give uh, from this past week? I saw a ton of activities. So. I I did Lance. I did I include in the in the hack MD. I include uh, like this uh, interoperability matrix at the end, so we uh -huh. can so we can then start. It's a table, yeah, that one. So try to start putting whatever test we. We passed and um, yeah, and added there. So that's what I what I include on the the last days. And there's a reference, so yeah, it's trust being a basic message. Ah, okay, <laughs> good, good. <laughs> go 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 Where's, to the to the bottom. Add the, add the, add the, yeah, to ah, the bottom. Yeah. Okay, great. Trust yeah. being Maybe basic message. Maybe someone can improve that. That was my first attempt to have something. Yeah, this is great. Thank you for doing that. Message pickup. Okay, forward. Excellent. And so if I'm reading this correctly, then uh, obviously roots wallet to roots wallet Android, we can do trust ping basic message. Same for iOS, 
same well, for our prism we just have basic message right now um block trust web agent we have basic message and for nessus agent we have trust ping great okay uh and so right we can go down the list um yeah basic message across okay it looks like block trust and nessus then have done uh trust ping and basic message fantastic well then um, maybe this is yeah i think i don't know if uh, bjorn update that yeah, uh, updated Bjorn, yeah. okay good good but i think nessus doesn't answer so you send a message to them and they it shows up in the list so. yeah great yeah i guess you oh, can you, make you, that you, you can see on on the list on the web page yeah really yeah, yeah you see that, that they received your basic message in on the connections where do you see that oh, oh uh, when you open nessus and then you can um open the connections uh, okay oh. okay good good uh, oh great it might be down right that. yeah hey Lance, can you reshare the link real quick for the acmd uh yes thank you acmd incoming now i think this was brother's interaction Okay, it looks like the Nessus Playground's down right now, and we can't... Oh, it's, I think it's working, why not? Oh, yeah. maybe the link that I went to? Yeah, Nessus. just dashboard, I'm using the dashboard. Okay, hmm. Yeah. All right, and then bid peer, and then... You go to connections on the right side. Ah, yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. government connections. Okay, I see some Roots ID mediator stuff. Um, is there a way that I can identify block trust? Do we know? Maybe it's... I don't yeah, know I think... how often yes. this resets. Okay. Yeah, but if you click yeah. one of those, you know, the okay. connection link. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. You yes. Yeah. The basic message, yes. I think the... oh, You have fantastic. basic message there. So click, click on show. On the basic message, and uh, you're gonna see, yeah, yo, yo, Nessus, this is Roots ID, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Ah, fantastic. Okay, I love it. I love, I love the chart. Thank you so much for. Uh, yeah, I, I, yes, in, in in that one, you also see that it's a proposed credential and a request credential. So, uh, oh, Alex you mean got thank the you? VR from should get the VR from Thomas, I think. Right. Okay. Or do you bomb did it first? <laughs> yeah, I did that like in the Jupyter notebook. I don't know if that counts though. Yeah, I had the Jupyter notebook on the, on the table as well. <laughs> to have all. Great. Okay. Um, just off the top of my head, since um, we want to touch base at the uh, Didcom Diff Didcom user group meeting uh, today, who will be there for that? I think I can only listen to it. Uh, I'll be in the car, but I would love I'll them to. Okay, great. Because I would love them to see this because this is you know goes well with the effort that we're just trying to do there of showing more services interacting. Great. Okay. Um, any other thoughts on this table of um, progress that we might make uh, this week or, or, you know, what else based on this table, you know, do we need to tackle? Yeah, I'll fill in the Verama stuff. Okay. Yeah. Any updates on Verama Mediator or uh, yeah. uh, uh, the Roots Wallet Verama? Yeah, so right now I deploy kind of like my own mediator with the uh, peer since uh, the one that Nick had only like supported the web and did key. Um, I was able to send like uh, do a trust ping to it. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, like basic message. Uh, that was it. Okay, great. No, uh, I'm trying to make sure that the whole uh, mediation. Uh, the request mediation, the pickup protocol, all that kind of stuff works. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Bjorn, do you want to give uh, any block trust uh, updates? I mean, certainly we can see a bunch from from here, but you know, we'd love to hear your 
uh, well, happiness and struggles, whatever they may be. Yeah, I think we had a few breakthroughs uh, last week uh, to get everything working. Um, but there's really nothing new big to announce or to talk about at the moment. Okay. Very good. And... Also, be, be, before the table, if you go up, I start adding last week, like issues found during preparations as to maybe list what we found and, and keep there as, as a guide for future implementations. So see, this is topics that we know they are, yeah, the, the, the cases that need to be fixed, like the yeah service endpoint is on the top of the list, I think. <laughs> How you call the DID on the service endpoint, and other stuff that we need to. That's mostly things that I work with Bjorn, but I, yeah, I need to expand with the others as well. Yeah, the service endpoint is really the big thing because that's not really documented how to do this. And um, yeah, we just aligned on the, on the prism way of doing this. Okay. All right, very good. Um, any other, just looking at our list of folks, any, anybody else, uh, have comments, questions, uh, about the table, then we can start talking about, um, well, what will give us the most bang for the buck at IAW. Okay. All right. So, um, I, from our point of view, I think, uh, you know, this HackMD uh, is fantastic. Of course, also being able to show these things um, next week at IAW will be also fantastic technically. Uh, is there anything that, sh that we feel like will help um, less technical folks, uh, you know, enjoy this or, 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 or feel the, the, the power or the 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 progress of this, I guess. Uh, what I'm asking is, what do you want to show in 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 our five minute times with each person or our ten minute times with each person? What is it that we want to show? We want to show certainly from our agents that that we made a connection and there was a chat. Is there anything else that will kind of help hit this home for for people? So I, I would find it nice if we have um, one or multiple posters, uh, depending where we are at the room, we could have some posters at the wall. Maybe every team has a poster just explaining very basically what they are doing. So because it's, in, it's, it's quite complicated to really uh, understand what's going on, but uh, visually, it's more easily, or oh, every team has a poster which just li li uh, lists the features. So just an, an easy idea to produce. Um... Okay, is that, um, I would love to make that more digital. Well, if uh, I was going to say anything, since you're talking about less technical people, I'm here. <laughs> so um, this is, um, I, I've been interested in uh, overall security identity and all that. So uh, I know what the areas is for. I know what DITCOM is for now. However, how is this like put together? How does it work with, for example, relationship with um, the Distributed Identity Foundation and uh, Hyperledger Foundation? And also, um, they are also like Open ID. That's like, very popular in the open in the CNCF security. How all this integrate together? How they fit together in a bigger picture? And specifically, I know there are so many different clients. It's nice, um, but it, 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 you already have a pretty nice table content. It would be great to have more simplified, uh, like a table of what the protocol are and. Uh, yeah, it's just a, kind of for education purpose for non-technical non people. And, and, and overall, I guess this is just a big picture, right? And put together what kind of problem do they solve? Yeah, very good. Um, 
I my sense then is that I should create a video. Uh, I mean, we've been talking about the highlights video, but maybe that's the point of the video that someone could sit and watch it for five minutes or you know two and a half minutes or whatever, kind of understand how this all uh, plays together. And then when they, you know, spend time with us another five minutes, let's say, then, you know, they're seeing it actually working, but, but to have an idea of how it fits. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I do think that what you're saying, Bjorn, about the poster, uh, and posters are fine too, like a physical poster would be good, but um, I guess digitally, I want to give people a fairly fast way to come up to speed. Um, yeah, on I, I like I love it how it fits within Aries Diff, uh, Open ID Connect. Well, one area I'm uh, actively involved in is the because um, I'm a database guy, so I'm interested in the, the like the, the for the species species fair, um, like the uh, continuous authentication protocol um, that's going on in the in the, in the, um, the CNCF world. So I just wonder how does this. Uh, um, is this going to help in that area going forward in the future? Hmm, continuous authentication. I'm not super, I mean, I kind of can glean from what it's called. Uh, does anybody have thoughts on continuous authentication? Or or the, maybe the, a little more about that the, will help. The project name is called uh, SPIFE Inspire. SPIFE is a pro S P I F F E, And then the, um, the S-P-I-R-E is actually implementation. Um, so the idea is every 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 connection you to the database is is authenticated. So it's not like a, it's kind of part of zero trust because I'm a database guy. Right? So how to how to zero trust every every time you connect to the database is authenticated. So um, yeah, so that's why I'm looking at all these different protocols and uh, I mean having distributed authentication seems to be interesting. And then um, and then yeah, how how does Dicom help that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very good. Yeah, good insights. Uh, that's Victor. Yeah, thanks, Victor. Uh, I like. Uh, Thank you. It's it's nice to have that perspective because we're so stuck on just uh, you know trying to get these protocols to interoperate. Oh, that was a big one. Uh, yeah, I I think that's really From cool. the toward everything there. <laughs> so, oh, it's ah uh, right. <laughs> Good. Okay. Other thoughts that that will help hit this home. I I mean I think I think for sure these two are huge. I love the idea of a poster. Um, it just makes me nervous having a physical thing. Uh, you know, in the next week uh, and and having. Oh, it maybe we can. Yeah. Uh, if we have a table near those uh, boards whiteboards maybe we can use those as a yeah as a poster <laughs> we can write it down there right but i don't know which table how, how this assign tables we maybe we can ask you know yeah and certainly on our laptops we could uh, you know kind of have like a summary maybe of our our particular uh summary of our agent capabilities. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah, though I think all of those are good options then basically to have a visual aid. Okay, good. How much do people care about the video idea? Do, do people feel like that is um, absolutely necessary, uh, a nice to have, or something that you know we should really strive to have, because you know, from a, my point of view, it's like uh, you know, just because I've made a bunch of videos, like okay, this seems like you know a natural fit, but I, I want to make sure that I'm not just, uh, yeah. Go ahead. 
yeah, as an again, I'm totally non technical in this area. Um, so yeah, it would be, be nice. And also, what happened really helps really well is I'm also, I also join. I'm just aware I have time right now. So um, the Open SSF uh, Open Security Foundation, they have a, a, a pro one of the project does a, a diagram. And so what do you do? So when I joined that, because I want to learn what's going on, right? So the diagram helps me like uh, navigate what's going on in, in the community and what project and how they're related. It. So now video is definitely a great idea. It would be great to even, even have a diagram which uh, helps the, you know, understand the video and anything, you know, you know that, of course that diagram can also be updated to reflect changes in relationships. Okay, yeah, very good. Uh, regarding the video, I think that could also be something which we could do after IIW. So then we have some photos and some report what happened there. And I, I think the video is more something uh, we can share over social media or give people. I don't think that the impact of a video um, while the conference happen, is happening is so big because the, most people don't have the time to, or. It, I think it's hard really to watch a five minute video while all the people are running around and they don't see it and the acoustics of it. So I think it's a great idea, um, but uh, the impact of the video should be designed or should be for a larger audience. And therefore it's, I think it's fine if we do that afterwards. Okay. Yeah, and again, I, I'm I'm actually I'm not going to IW. That's why I agree <laughs> for someone like me who is totally just new to this area and after the IW probably. Okay, great. Okay, yep, and I see Alex saying he thinks the diagram I, might be more helpful. I just had the same thought that Bjorn had pretty much. Uh, yeah, I agree okay. with uh, what Bjorn just said. Good. All right, very good. That's great. That puts uh, certainly less pressure on me for uh, <laughs> over the next week. So great. Uh, but it's after, after I had only we need it. <laughs> yes. It's pressure uh, so, for after that. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's, um, I mean, certainly, I guess uh, the video will essentially be the culmination of all these different parts uh, and just explaining uh, it. So yeah, good. Very good. Um, yeah, so somehow showing, yeah, there are, that there are many different patients on the table. That's, I think, one of the key things. It's not only among two, it's going to be like, yeah, five, four, yeah, six, whatever different nations we, we have. Okay. Good. Yeah, I guess it is right. It won't be obvious when people approach the table that they're essentially approaching, that the connectathon is that they're approaching a bunch of different, we'll call ourselves vendors uh, or, or, yeah, a bunch of different teams that are doing a connectathon. So that, that will be something we need to repeat over and over again, uh, I think. Any other thoughts on that? I mean, that this is where the poster idea, I think, uh, you know, it would, is nice because, you know, it, it's good to see each team kind of highlighted and represented. So uh, this diagram then uh, that we, we like, um, is this diagram a diagram of each vendor uh, interaction? So essentially like a more visual um, uh, version of the table that Rodolfo created, or is it more of a diagram of how DIDCOM fits in the SSI ecosystem or both?
I would think that Victor, for instance, would want to see how DIDCOM fits in the SSI ecosystem. Um, but then, yeah, we also want to highlight interoperability, I guess, across vendors. Any thoughts on that? We'll try to make both happen, I guess. Certainly, if I was going to create slides for a video, I'd try to highlight both. So, okay. All right. Other thoughts for IIW? Well, uh, okay. So, given uh, you know everything that we've listed, um, what do we? What is? What do we absolutely need to do this week? We would have the flurry of activity from last week was amazing. Um, I think, you know, really great results. I mean, this is uh, our table here is a huge leap forward. We got updates from Roots ID folks and Block Trust. And regarding Varamo, uh, yeah, what else? Yeah, I think, so what, I think what, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Rodolfo, go first. No, it's okay. No, I'm, I'm saying that I think we tested between the two of us, maybe Beramo and Prison are the one that we should focus. And then this is what I think is we already, uh, yeah, get it at the point that is, I think, comfortable to show that in a, even in a demo, not, not a video, we can, yeah, put that web page and send messages I'm going to see on, on that, yeah, dashboard, right? I think uh, the prism and the, maybe the, the, the prison wallet that may Tony would have, I don't know which one he's going to use. That one, I think is the one that needs to be tested or so find what, what's going to be. And maybe, I don't know, Alex, the, the Veramo, right? Yeah, is Gonzalo the best person? Is Gonzalo the best person to test with the Prism agent type thing, or like who who can we test against <laughs> to make sure that it works before the actual demo? Because like I was able to test like Prism, like the Prism agent with Bjorn's uh, like wallet, for example, right? Um, but uh, should I try to to run uh, like Gonzalo wallet or? Uh, is that like what he's using? Because like I know like he was working on updating some of the code as well and like. So yeah, uh, do you guys? Yeah, have any I, uh, yeah I don't know. I'm, I I gonna ask. Yeah, I'm gonna send a message to him and, and right now and ask what he's gonna do. Yeah, and then like from the Veramo side, I know like Veramo to Veramo works. The uh, Veramo to SigPy libraries, uh, uh, we can decrypt messages, uh, but I cannot encrypt them and, and send them back to the SigPy libraries as far uh, as I know right now. So. Uh, one of the Veramo devs is going to be back tomorrow, and I'm going to try to meet up with him to to finish the the rest of it. Uh, so that's where I'm at there. Okay. And yeah, I mean, it's important that we just to remind everyone, it's important that we collect all of these difficulties or you know challenges, all the work that we're doing so that when future vendors want to you know join our ecosystem that we're helping to create uh that they can navigate these issues quickly um yeah. so some of that might be updating the spec for instance but it sounds like a lot of it is just engineering um, yeah, I mean, yeah for example like the veramo guys the reason why they couldn't decrypt is because they were missing some aes uh algorithm that they didn't support for the, the library. So they had to implement that, um, for example. So where where are we capturing those aspects? Uh, uh, I can write it in uh, in uh, in the uh, in here, like the, the pull request that was made to, to fix that issue. I can put it in the HackMD, for example. OK, so uh, that'll like, go under oh, like yeah. issues found? Yeah, yeah, similar to like the Roots Wallet block trust. Uh, I'll do okay. like, a, like a Roots Wallet to Ramo, uh, same. Yeah. 
Yeah, just to remind everyone, the hope is that the result of all of this produces, well, in, in the the ideal case, it produces a, uh, a, a test harness, a DIDCOM V2 test harness that uh, basically a new vendor can approach. And, you know, as long as they can work with that test harness, they work with all of us, you know, hopefully. Um, but uh, in the minimum case, I feel like this document will stand as a guide to help um, people to not only connect with us, to know who to try to reach out to, to, you know, work with, but also to, you know, follow something that says, oh, you know, I'm having that same issue and this is how we get past it. So, okay. An integration guide, I guess is basically what I'm saying. Oh, any, oh, any chance you can give me edit access to the HackMD for the root ID email, please? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Share. We've got Bjorn and Rodolfo so far. Happy to invite others. Alex, what's your uh, Alex, uh, Andre at rootsid.com? Yeah, okay. Sweet. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. What do I do here? Invite. Right. Okay. And if the way that I'm doing this is uh, not as good as some other way, let me know because HackMD, I'm not as good at, uh, I haven't used it as much. So far, I've loved it, by the way, but OK. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, I think this is fantastic. I feel like we're not scrambling, uh, which is a good feeling. So thank you all for everything that you did over the last week, because uh, I, was, I was much more concerned uh, a week ago. Uh, I'm much less now. I think that we've probably shown enough that, uh, yeah, we won't, we're definitely way beyond uh, embarrassing ourselves at our own event. Uh, this is excellent. Now I just want to make sure, uh, I really appreciate Victor's um, point of view and feedback because I want to make sure that all of this work hits home when people are at IAW with us, so. Yeah, to, to make it even easier for really newbie like me, if there's any, uh, I, don't, I don't, on this website, you already have a lot of description. It'd be great to have like a, more links to individual protocol and uh, what the uniqueness of each one, description of what they do, uh, that'd be even better. Right, so from didcom.org, you can browse protocols and uh, the protocols have the versions. Uh, and yeah, this gives kind of a description of, of all those protocols, but we definitely should, do we highlight the version of each protocol that we use? Uh, I, I mean, essentially the spec uh, spells out some of that, but do we think we should list that here? Uh, we certainly said that we were going to have a table of protocols. So I, I think that making sure that people know what version uh, is good. Let's see what we did here. Okay, our links look pretty good with the versions. Any thoughts on that? Because I do think it, it can be confusing just sending someone here, right? Okay, here's here's the problem. I mean, this is nice when I'm trying to look yeah. up like, oh, you know, I know I'm looking up trust ping, for instance. And yeah, if you look at the CNCF uh, landscape, um, which is pretty nice, I can drill down. So first of all, it's a, it's a table. And it would be, of course, it would be even nicer if it's a, if it's a diagram, but the table is okay. Uh, it, when you drill down, they go into the each individual uh, project and give it a lot of descriptions. And um, yeah, it would be great to have a, uh, ideally, uh, yeah, like a um, diagram which groups on what uh, it you know what each uh, each area you know what the different uh, protocols, different uh, project do, and uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's helpful. Uh, can you link me to the diagram that you're talking about for CNCF? Yeah. Thank you. 
is maybe uh, hopefully that will inspire us. <laughs> is that the Cloud Native Foundation or something like that? That supports Kubernetes? When I typed in CNCF, yeah, I came to the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, but I. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, so, I think that's another Hyperledger project, right? Is it, it's more, uh, it's, yes, Kubernetes, basically. Uh, Kubernetes. For, for, it's not just Kubernetes, but it's, yeah, I just posted that, uh, that landscape. So if you, if you, if you drew down that, um, oh, it, it yeah, nice. it will give a, uh, yeah, if you pick anyone, uh, uh, just pick anything. <laughs> if you drew down, yeah, I have a, what it does is actually automatically collect a lot of the information from like GitHub and Twitter and all that. So, so you can tell what's going on with the project, how active it is. And mm. yeah, there's a lot of good information. Oh, that's nice. this is this is cool. Uh, yeah. Definitely, someone spent some time on it, so <laughs> it will take time for us to catch up to this level. But I I love it. Platform. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, um, Thomas yeah. Disler from Nessus was talking about essentially, yeah, a certification path for for essentially the work that we're doing. So. Yeah, this is this is hopefully our future. This is hopefully how awesome did come, uh, you know, will become in whatever version it will be. Although this is wow, this is such a big ecosystem. Yeah, maybe SSI yeah. actually needs this. See, see the market cap on the star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> market cap of twenty one. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll software, as far as I know, yeah. What's our market cap right now? <laughs> uh, okay, very good. I love it. I'm gonna uh, put this in the document as a. Even this one is still being worked on. Uh, their efforts to do like diagrams, so focus on one area and then just get, kind of give workflow this way, uh, kind of have a more intuitive. Uh, like understanding of what's going on in the ecosystem and how, how the project is related and all this kind of good stuff. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I mean, that diagram, so yeah, I could imagine someone could spend, the, spend their entire life working on that and it will never be finished. It's, it's, yeah, the amount of drill down that you could do, it's pretty endless, I think, so that's great. Excellent. Thank you, Victor. Thanks. Okay. Uh, other thoughts? Let's see. We have 20 minutes. So um, I guess I'll, yeah, I'll open it up to whatever someone wants to talk about or thinks that we need to discuss. We've got 10 days till demo or nine days till demo. Who's coming in on Monday for IW? So, or will everybody be there Tuesday morning? I should say for the start of the. Yeah, I'm arriving. Conference. Yeah, Monday late night. So okay, M morning on Tuesday gonna be there. Okay. Same here. Yeah, I'll be there Monday night. Yeah, same with me. Okay. Yeah, I will have. Uh... <laughs> traveled the entire coast of uh, California. Uh, so I'm getting into LA on Friday and then I'll travel up the coast and so I'll see you guys Tuesday morning. Going on Highway 1? Uh, yeah, well, I think parts of it have washed away so I'll have to do a little oh. bit of a reroute at one point. Um, but yeah, I'll get to uh, It's a pretty drive. Know, Go around some mountains. I don't know what mountain range that is, the, the Big Sur mountain range, but uh, yeah. I'll kind of go up and around to Monterey and a little bit back down to to see the Big Sur area. I've never done any of that, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm in for. How long is it take? We're moving like three hours every day, and 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Mm, uh, cool. Kids? Yeah. All family? No, no kids. No, oh. this. Ah, no kids. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> no kids. <laughs> uh, when, when our market cap is two point one trillion, then I, you know, I can afford to bring the kids along. <laughs> Good. Uh, okay. Anything else that people are looking forward to then for IW? Let's kind of talk then about, um, what, are you aware of any sessions related to DIDCOM V2 that we think about? Like last, um, last IW, there was the DIDCOM V2 OIDC 4VC uh, session, which I, I was new to the concepts of OIDC. Uh, OIDC. So that was like uh, a lot for me to take in, but essentially in that session, uh, similar to what I saw Rodolfo post recently, I can't remember where you posted that Rodolfo. Maybe it was in, actually, I think it was a GitHub uh, commit. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that just a little bit? Well, that, uh, that yeah, from, it was from Sam. So I just add in, yeah. Okay. Links to to the yeah to the podcast and to the current presentation such so he can improve that. It's part. It's gonna be part of the uh, Git book. A comparison between Didcom and and YDC. So Sam started that, and I had some additional links. Good. But that yeah. that we yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um, in terms of, uh, I was just thinking, um, when we're actually doing the demo time, uh, let's see, just uh, going down our list here. Um, so Roots ID will have three of us there, um, but perhaps we should kind of call out now what we're going to focus on. I mean, it's my intention to be moving between all of the groups and essentially videoing it. Uh, so that we can, you know, have our highlight reel. Um, Rodolfo, what will your focus be during the demo time? Uh, will it be like the no, uh, the Roots Lab? Uh... Yeah, yeah, probably that one. Yeah. Okay. Maybe showing okay. that with whatever other. Yeah, okay. I think that yeah, that will de depends on on the people who are approaching. Um, oh, question the yes, right? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And then Alex, will your yeah, focus... but, but I, I will have I, I I will have the the root ID lab with the uh, iOS and Android and trying to yeah interact with whatever is on the table. Okay. And then Alex, what do you see for your? Uh... Uh, I'll have the I'll have the Bramo and the Prism one. Uh, I guess depending on like who wants to demo it like is tony like gonna like sit there with us that thing like yeah. i guess i can use the yeah you, we... can you can assume tony's gonna be using like gonzalo's uh chat uh you know prism chat yeah. okay yeah uh so yeah, yeah I maybe I can... we can see it like like in, in pairs maybe with Dion and me and tony and alex for example and do that yeah. Showing that there are two different actors or vendors <laughs> playing. Uh, do, maybe do that, you th that may work. Do you think? Because uh, so we think Nick will be there as well, right? Uh, yeah, Alex? I can chat with Nick. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can chat with Nick to see if we can like do something else, uh, like, to, like together uh, as well. And uh, if that's the case, then uh, yeah, like maybe you can do the one with Tony. Uh, or uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll chat yeah. with Nick uh, today uh, about like what he, he like how he wants to do it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like to actually like figure out the logistics and like the demo and like the demo flow and who's sending who to what and uh, yeah. I didn't get if Brian Victor is gonna be there or not. I... Uh, let's see. So I um, I chatted him. He said that he couldn't make our meetings today, um, but it, okay, sounds, it, it. it sounds like it's he's going, going right? to try to touch base with us at IAW in person. Okay, good. 
Okay. Yeah. So, so, um, so we had mentioned pairs. Um, do we think that, let's take somebody like Tony, for instance, do we think that Tony will be only showing his interaction with one other person um, during our time, like as a pair, or do we think that he'll be showing interactions with multiple people? I mean, obviously that's going to get more complex, uh, right? Thoughts? Yeah. What's that? Say again? Well, I guess like, uh, who else would be showing it with? Uh... I, I guess what I mean is, let's say that um, the... Uh, Let's say that the chat that Tony has or uh, can work with against the block trust, and it can also work with uh, the roots, uh, maybe multiple of our, our vendor uh, instances. Who do we expect that Tony will be working with multiple uh, connections or just kept repeatedly showing the, the same connection, but then talking to the fact that, oh, we also work with them and we work with them. Any thoughts on that? Certainly to keep it easy, I would think he would repeat the same demonstration over and over again. I, you know. Yeah, and, and, and we may have this, the, the Nessus uh, dashboard. So that's another agent that you can run. That yeah. You can show when with Alex and the Nessus, for example. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if the next, Nessus is not, not the one I work with prison, but anyway, <laughs> for the others. So, oh, okay, so I'll ask the same question wow. from the Nessus point of view. Do you expect that multiple people will be showing their connections to Nessus, or do you think that we'll have one person who, you know, one vendor that's <coughs> doing connections with Nessus? I mean, let's obviously in the worst case scenario, let's say that we only had pairs of connections working. It, it seems from our, our uh, chart here that we were much better than that. But um, if we only had pairs, obviously we would only do pairs. But because we're kind of beyond that, I'm just wondering from the actual demo standpoint, will it be like, hey, let me show you that I did a basic message with Block Trust, and then hey, let me show you, you know, from my same app. Now I'm doing basic message with, uh, you know, pick something else. Nessus, we'll say. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna be the dynamics on the table, yeah. but probably yeah. I would say if I mean, for example, if I mean with VR, we can try to explain with the someone who approached that that we can communicate, and then okay, but also we can connect with uh, Nessus, and we show that with the laptop that we both connect Nessus and explain maybe other people showing, and we. <laughs> explain the same or keep the, the dialogue showing that okay we can connect with tony as well <laughs> i don't know that that's will i think is change based on will, the... will you have also the the python notebook on a laptop yeah right yeah also python not right and i, I, mean, I think that, that yeah one once we, we start talking and explaining to people based on the yeah on the background you explain different stuff and you explain what, what is but we're doing that. What's the hard stuff on doing that? Why we need to do that, right? Why it's not, if you read the spec, what is not working as expected every time. And I think that change based on the, on who's on there. I think that they, they say this is gonna be five minutes, but we know that that changed. Some people yeah. show to for only two minutes and others for <laughs> half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can I um, throw out there that for the Tuesday uh, lunchtime, that we do a pre connectathon. Connectathon. What uh, I, I would love to see the dynamics kind of play out before it happens, <laughs> so that we know, um, you know, because for one one thing, uh, you know, which things are we showing as emulators and simulators, and which things are we showing on on physical devices. Uh, all of that. Do, do do we think that it's worthwhile uh, on Tuesday? Oh, on Tuesday, yeah, to, yeah. yeah, to get together. How about yeah. you? 
how about you, Bjorn? Do you think it's worth? Yeah, yeah that's that's great. Also, um, can I uh, load your Android wallet on my phone? We need to be there. Yeah, you yeah. can, but you need to hook up to my laptop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> but this just opens more possibilities. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So also you can have the block trust uh, wallet open uh, in a window uh, next to Nessos uh, on right, one of your laptops. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Okay, all right, then uh, we all know what we're doing then for lunchtime on Tuesday. That'll be great. And maybe um, since the demo time is after lunch on Wednesday, and, and tell me if we're over practicing here, but uh, would you all want to, you know, group together at lunchtime prior to the demo and to kind of prepare and make sure everything's working? Yeah. With the food on the table. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Last minute uh, wrap ups, right? So <laughs> something is inevitably going to go wrong, I think. But <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out what does work Definitely. so we can show that. Yeah, we can show that. Okay. Wednesday uh, prep time. Okay. So essentially, our lunches uh, for the first two days are reserved. Very good. Okay. Uh, how can I hopefully bold this? That work? No, that did not work. Some kind of double stars going on there. Hmm. Whoever designed that language. Uh, well, anyways, okay. Uh, maybe I can underline it. Mm. With H. Heading. No. Okay. Uh, a couple minutes left. Just trying to think any more logistics through. We're able to practice, then we'll have our demo time. By then we'll know who, you know, what each vendor is gonna show in terms of uh, one or more connections. I guess, um, so then because we're gonna show Nessus, during the demo, uh, because part of uh, one of the things that had triggered the uh, video idea was because we knew Thomas uh, wasn't going to be there to show his Nessus stuff. But because we're showing it during the demo, do you think then that recording our interactions with Nessus prior to IW is not necessary? Yeah, not now because we have this dashboard, I think it's better to show that in live. Okay. Yeah, showing on the, the web page. Okay. And then, yeah, post IAW, we'll, we'll post a video that shows those interactions. Okay. Yep, very good. Let me make sure I didn't put anything about the video on here. Or post IAW highlight video. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we had listed that as optional. Uh, what am I gonna do with this? Let's see. Mm, we'll just say post. And I'll move it up to... Okay, any other thoughts? Okay, I think uh, great momentum here, and I'm looking forward to it. This is exciting. So great to see everybody. Thank you, and uh, hopefully, um, if, if for those who can make it to the user group, the diff did come uh, user group this afternoon, because I think uh, Fabio and yeah. uh, some others will be there, and you know we can bring them up to speed on on the document. <laughs> Yeah, so, so ne uh, next Monday, we won't have the call, right? 
Right. I won't be added to. Yeah. Right. I wonder. Uh, okay. I'll try to. Yes, I know who to contact, and I'll have them remove it from the, from the calendar. Yeah. Good call. Okay. Great. Thank you, everybody. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you.